a series of announcements in the last couple of weeks and findings shows that climate change coverage, that is the news about climate change, will likely be reduced even from where it is today. We're going to go through some of what's been announced. Inside Climate News, which tracks media coverage of climate change, finds that the nation's five largest circulation newspapers will only, quote, have about a dozen reporters and a handful of editors among them whose primary responsibility is to cover the environment. The Huffington Post reports that in 2012, which was the warmest year on record, Coverage of climate change on major U.S. television networks and across media outlets dropped in 2012. In all, worldwide climate coverage decreased by 2 percent between 2011 and 2012, marking the fewest number of published stories since 2009. Think about that. The warmest year on record saw even fewer published reports about climate change than 2009. The Columbia Journalism Review, also putting out a, a study, finding that there are now just 19 weekly science sections left in American newspapers. That's down from 95 just a few decades ago. Science sections are often the place where you can find environmental news, news about what's happening in the ecosystem. And then there was this video, this clip from Fox News, headed by Rupert Murdoch, who has dabbled in climate change denialism, in which climate change is portrayed not even as a, quote, pressing issue. Watch this. We heard uh, during the, the, the inaugural address, we heard about climate change, we heard about gay rights, we heard about lots of issues, but nothing much about the deficit and some of the pressing issues, the, you know, the really pressing issues of Earth. Well, did you hear that? Did you hear that? So we heard about climate change, but we didn't hear about many pressing issues. The idea is that climate change is not a pressing issue. None of this is good news, as I said to begin this segment. In a country where it's good news that 80% of the population believes that climate change is a crisis, that still leaves 20%. 20% who say it's not really a crisis. And that 20% is enough with the Senate filibuster to stop any national legislation whatsoever. Added on top of that, is a media that clearly doesn't want to cover this issue in any serious way. How are we ever going to get to a consensus on national legislation if we still don't have a consensus on the fact that climate change is a crisis? It's a huge question and it's a disturbing one.